Hi everyone, uh, Travel Edict Guy here, and I'm here once again in Malaga. I'm in front of the Roman Theater, and they have these interesting signs here with all the statistics out right now about Andalusia and Malaga. I thought it was quite interesting, guys. And here's one to my right. So we're going to take a look at these today, and we're going to see the trends going on in Andalusia and Malaga. So let's take a look at this first one here. And it's entitled Tourism in Andalusia. And you can see the evolution of the number of tourists in millions. So in 1998, there was 18 million. And you had in 2007, 25.8 million. And you peaked all the way in 2019 with 32.5 million tourists. You can see that big, big jump there. And that was right before all of this outbreak. And you can see now we are down to last year 2020 13.4 million and that is well well below the standard and i like here they have it by province as well here we go almeria so 2.6 million tourists a year from almeria and they would stay for an average of 7.9 days and they spent an average daily of 63 euros a day cadiz 5 million tourists a little bit over that spending 77 euros a day there we go here when cordoba with around 1.9 million tourists and they spend around 65 euros a day granada with over 5 million tourists so another hot spot beside Cadiz, spending around 69 euros a day and staying for 5.1 days welba 2.6 million tourists with an average spend of 56 euros a day, high end. That is a lower spot there. That is more of the country. 825,000 tourists a day, spending 79 euros a day. So spending a little bit more, staying less time there. You'll see a lot of olives there and country. And you get the best olive oil there from high end, natural products. And here we go, Malaga, my favorite town on the Costa del Sol. 10 million tourists approximately so that is a big province actually they're going by the province here over 10 million tourists before the start of this crisis they were spending 63 euros a day sevilla 4.3 million spending 73 euros a day so you can see behind me that is very very disturbing that drop in tourists so hopefully we can get this uh situation under control and we can bring that number up again Okay, here's some more interesting statistics behind me about the European Union. So let's take a look at this one. They are comparing Andalusia to the European Union. And here we go. 1.2% of the products. Bruto. I'm not sure what exactly what that is. Are they talking about the champagne? Or something else. 1.9% of the population of the European 27 states. That's what they're talking about and or the countries i should say and 2.2 percent of the territory of the 27 nations of the european union you can see them there they're highlighted in gray your expectancy of life if you live in andalusia is for men 79.6 years of age women 84.9 years of age and in the eu 27 states it is 78.5 you're expected to live a little bit longer if you're a man about a year a little over a year longer and for women about the same about nine months or longer and here we go here the density of the population in andalusia it's 96.6 and in the eu 27 it's 109. It's great to see this uh, big group of tourists behind me i've seen quite a few this morning so that's fantastic okay here's some interesting facts just about malaga the province of malaga and it has the population of 20 percent total of andalusia and that is in malaga 16% of the population has a foreign nationality and the principal is United Kingdom. So that is 16% of the population is foreigners here. 83% of the inhabitants are dedicated to the service sector. You can see that there's a woman there and she's a waitress. So that is a high, high number guys. 83% in the service sector. And you can see that why Malaga was so badly affected by this crisis. And they continue to be affected by this. Number one destination of one in four tourists that will visit Andalusia is Malaga. So 25% of the tourists are choosing to come to Malaga. 
and there are 213 kilometers of coast along the province of Malaga. And here's a tour group right behind me, guys, right there. They pull in right there. So, and she's speaking Spanish. So, some Spanish tourists. And I heard another group, they were in French. They were speaking French. So, great to see some tourists again in Malaga. It's wonderful. Okay, here's another chart here. It's talking about women in Andalusia. 10 different uh, data points, basically. So, the population of women is 50.7%. 60.3% of women are 75 or older in Andalusia. Wow, that is uh, quite a high number. So a lot, of, not a lot of young uh, women being born. Wow. 60.4% uh, have a university degree. Ocupadas. I'm not quite sure what that means. 42.4%. Does that mean they're working? 35.5% are trabajadores autonomas. So they're like... Um, working away they're not working in the office they're working um like for internet something like that or at home oh i don't know what this word is panada 53.4 percent i'll have to look that one up guys and not sure what this statistic is either unfortunately okay let's go to the next one diputadas in el parlamento de andalusia so they are uh in the parliament of andalusia basically they're represented in the government 46.8 percent so that's a pretty good a uh, mixture of men and women there, alcaldesas, that means they are mayors, 23.3% are mayors, wow. And they are sports, uh, they like to do sports, deportistas, 39% are into sports. So there we go, and there we have a beautiful Andalusian woman there, and showing some more below. Some more interesting statistics here in Malaga and in Andalusia about women. And they have a lot of these out here, guys. I like how they have all this uh, information here. You can learn a lot here about Malaga and Andalusia, which I'm doing today. Okay, this sign here is titled, How We Have Changed. And this is Andalusia from 1980 and five data points. So. The population went from 6.4 million to 8.5 million. So that's not a big increase, guys. That is not a big increase over 40 years. It's not a huge increase at all. The expectancy of life has gone from, oh, it's gone up a lot. So that is a big, big change. So for men, 71 and a half years to 79.6. And for women, it's gone from 77.4. Wow, that was a big discrepancy in 1980. Look at that. Women lived around six years longer. Now the gap has closed and it is still around five years longer for women. So it is still a quite a difference. Tourism, and you can see 1980, 68. Is that in millions? I don't know exactly what that is. Ooh, the matriculation. I'm not sure on that, guys, but you can see it's definitely down. It hit a high point in around 2007. And I think that is the movement of tourism, but I don't understand that perfectly. Okay, here is the air traffic of passengers. And it's 4.7 million, 1980. That is a low number. And look at that, all the way up to 30.6 million in around 2019 and way down to 8.3. So look at that, you're almost back to the pre-1990 level here in uh, air traffic. So that is a big, big difference. And here is the electric consumption. That is quite interesting. That is a million megawatts, I guess. This is megawatt vatios per hour so i guess megawatts and so there's a big increase there but you saw it's come down a little bit since around 2007 it peaked there so that is good maybe they're going to the cleaner energy so there is uh some interesting facts about the size of andalusia you can see it there it's represented there it's basically the south of spain if you don't know what it is it's called andalusia or andalusia in english and you have a 2,329 municipality lines and those are basically make up different uh, territories so you can see all those quite a lot of, quite a few different little areas there on the map with different names and things so a lot of areas to visit if you wanted to come to andalusia and visit them all would take you quite a while and you have a complete distance of 19,900 kilometers in distance. That's what it is saying there. Actually quite big. You don't realize how big it is. It is actually quite large going all the way from the east, going from Malaga to the west. You can go all the way to Welba. It's very, very close to the Portuguese border. And you're down in the southwest part there. And that is uh, Cadiz and the very southern point of Europe. And uh, you are in Tarifa which we were actually there. I was there about a month ago. Very cool place, but very, very windy. So I hope you learned something about Andalusia and Malaga. I know that I did. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Travel Addict Guy. Take care of you one.